We we'll begin with college soccer, and Muhlenberg didn't start their year off the way they wanted to, but boy, they're red hot right now midway through the season. Certainly have things going in the right direction for sure right now after losing two of its first three games. The Muhlenberg men's soccer team has righted the ship in a big way. Mule's victory over 10th-ranked Dickinson last night was their first over a nationally-ranked squad since topping number 7 New Jersey. That was back in 2007. This also extended their winning streak to a season-high five games. Tom Mike Krantz has the highlight from West Allentown. Muhlenberg was coming off four straight shutout victories all on the road before hosting Dickinson Wednesday. What better a time to catch the Devils, a team that shut out the Mules twice last year by identical one to nothing scores. That second defeat in overtime to Dickinson last year ended Muhlenberg's season in the Centennial Conference playoffs. The Mules debuted their new home gray uniforms last night. Neither team could muster any shots in the first 14 minutes. A streaking Cody Antonini got the first good scoring chance in the 15th minute but his boot toward the left corner was stopped by the Red Devils keeper. Dickinson had several good chances to break the scoreless tie late in the half, but couldn't finish off on a shot on goal. Tyler Meade challenges Mules keeper Jason Daniels early in the second half. Daniels made his only two saves of the night in the first five minutes of the period to keep the Red Devils off the board. The best action happened in the final 20 minutes. Former Emmaus player Tom Riley goes to Antonini, but the sophomore is denied. Addison Westlow, a Moravian Academy product, shoots long range, but his shot sails just over the crossbar. It gets better for the Chili home fans. Mike Gehrman gets free on the left side, shoots, saved, then on the rebound, Antonini gets a shot off, but his two is rejected by Cody Hickok. Then with 7.06 showing on the clock, Antonini beat three defenders and fires into the bottom right corner to give the Mules the lead one to nothing. Would it stand up? The Muhlenberg defense held the Red Devils to just one shot the rest of the way and wins one to nothing. The victory gives the Mules sole possession of first place in the Centennial Conference at 3-0. The Mules' five straight shutout wins is the first such streak since 1994. They haven't allowed a goal in more than 466 minutes of play. You know, people will look, you know, first three games and see we were one and two and say, well, Muhlenberg might not be that great this year, but two of those two of those teams are ranked in top 20 in the country and um, and, and we, we kind of I thought had the better of play we just didn't score and gave up a few goals so um, we were kind of confident that you know it'll turn around and if we keep playing well things are gonna happen and, and now here we are well it all started um, with Moravian then we came in with two big conference games which were important against Gettysburg and FNM and we came out strong we got goals in the back of the net and we were able to keep them scoreless so I think that was really important tonight just to keep the ball out of the net so we could keep ourselves in the game. They're a great team. Antonini has scored in all eight games this year, the longest streak from the start of a season by a mule since 1971. That always helps too, you know. It's always good when someone can step up and get you those goals in, in the tough games, you know. It's really what you need. Muhlenberg next faces number 14 Johns Hopkins Saturday at Varsity Field as part of homecoming weekend. And maze your friends with some more trivia. The last time the Mules faced nationally ranked teams in back-to-back -back games was in 2004. Covering Centennial Conference Soccer, Tom Mike Grants, 2 Sports.